Welcome back to the Orca Boat Shop. My name is Rod. So we're still working on the Acorn 11 foot 9 little sailing skiff here. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to cover, uh, well, it's actually going to break this into two episodes, I believe, just to not make it too long. I know people's attention spans, if you're looking like me, then uh, I don't want to be watching videos all day long. Um, so installing the skeg, the keel, and the outer stem. First portion will be kind of just shaping it all, how I'm going about that. And then the second uh, half will be uh, a video that I'll put out in a couple of days. It won't be very long just for editing the material. But that will be installing the skeg and the keel and the outer stem. So let's get to it. So I'm just going to start off the video with a quick little uh, section on just cutting the plank of mahogany, how I just split it in half, running through plain rudder. I'm going to show how I installed it because it's just the same process as all the planks in previous videos. Installing the skeg and the keel, I need to determine where the opening is through the center uh, of the hog and the keel for which the dagger board case will be and the dagger board will actually slide through. So there are some uh, measurements on here, but it doesn't give me the actual length of the opening. So I'm just going to take my calipers here and if I measure from the, from the opening there to the forward face and measure that distance, and we come up with uh, one and three quarters. I multiply that by eight because the scale on the drawings here are one inch equals eight inches. I come up with 14 inch opening. So I need to make sure that the hole in, or the, the, the keel that runs up to here and through to the back is, a ha is exactly 14 inches. Now I need to determine where the forward mark will be and it appears that if I lay a ruler down here on number station number four line, that is exactly the beginning of the opening of the uh, daggerboard uh, open box for the daggerboard case. So if I look at where the plywood, the forms are set up on station four, it is forward, forward of the actual line and forward of the block. So really, the, uh, the forward opening needs to be exactly where the forward face of station number four is sitting. How far back is that from the forward perpendicular? What I have done is just taken my little square here and drawn a line perpendicular to that forward face. Take my calipers and measure that distance, that line there. To that line there. If I have to use my ruler for that or my tape measure, that is exactly seven inches times eight is 56. So the beginning of the opening is 56 inches from the forward perpendicular. Now I just need to go and transfer that over to the boat. What I've set up on the bow here so I can measure from a forward perpendicular line, adding in the actual thickness of the outside stem, which is two inches which I just uh, clamped down to my strong back, which I know is level. So if I put my tape measure on the forward edge of that and not pull too hard, because otherwise I can end up you know, bending and pulling the square towards me. And I'm gonna measure off 56 inches. It is right 
there. So the box then should be 14 inches back from that. That is the opening required for the dagger board center box. So there will be no keel in that section. Then I need to determine where the keel will taper down to a feathered edge. The outer stem will butt over top of that in sort of a scarf joint here. So uh, from the drawings it, it shows that the very tip of the keel feathered down comes to the forward face of station number one which of course is buried in the boat right now. So uh, can measure that to the forward face of the stem is 16 inches. So if I, you know, sort of hold this up here at 16 inches, the forward face of the stem should be, or forward face of station number one should be about right there. Then I just need to measure uh, the length of pieces I need for this keel. I don't have to cut it from a full length of mahogany. I can cut it from a bunch of shorter pieces that would be more economical. So the forward piece here needs to be at least 41 inches long. And at the stern it needs to be at least, I would say 71. So 41 and 71 piece of mahogany. Next I'll need to know the approximate uh, dimensions of the skeg. Uh, more, more importantly how long it is and it appears to be going from well let's just measure from the bottom of the boat through to station number uh, seven so that e we know that each station is uh, 14 inches apart so if I measure that portion there I will get uh, uh, five inches times eight is 40 inches long so I need my a piece of mahogany at least 40, 41 inches long and uh, how high, how thick. I will take the calipers for that or use my small ruler here. We're going to need it to be at least three, quarter of a, three quarters of an inch high times eight gives us uh, I believe six inches. I need to clean up some of the planking here so I can get my uh, skeg and uh, keel right down the center line so I set up my laser from center of stem on the bow uh, to center of the very peak of the transom back here and then I'm just going to lay down a bunch of marks along that center line so that I can chisel and uh, clean up uh, equidistance from center line out. Because I haven't lofted this boat out fully, I don't know the actual shape of the profile of where the skeg is supposed to go. So I've laid a piece of door skin down here, I've pressed it down where it's level on here, and I've measured the distance from the bottom of the board, which is about 4 inches. So I then have measured 4 inches up at various positions. Then I took a stick as a batten and bent it around to get that general curve. This is just going to be a rough estimate right now. Take it to the band so I'll cut it out and see how it fits. And I've got the pattern cut out. I can just see how that sits in there. So I'm just going to take my block plane. I need to shave off a little bit of this back end to drop it and I think it's going to be good. down with the square edge of the pattern, lay down with the uh, smooth edge of the mahogany skeg, and I should just be able to trace this out. This would be our skeg here. Cut that out on the bandsaw. something like that. Now I just need to shave down the planking so this will drop down inside. And I've also made this a little bit over thick and it also needs to be tapered from the thickness that fits into the slot up to about 5 eighths center. 
I almost have the uh, opening or the slot for the skeg to go in onto the hog. I'm just going to clean up the bottom or the top edge, whichever way you look at it. The bottom edge of this, this gets tapered down to a fine point. The thickness of the skeg on the portion that contacts the uh, keelson in the boat is just a hair over an inch. I left it that way because I can shave a bit down either opening the gap on the boat or shaving down the skeg a little bit. But it also needs to be tapered down to 5 eighths thick on the uh, bottom edge to which the uh, keel which is 5 eighths and 1 inch high will sit on top of. Now I don't want to taper all the way from the very bottom edge, so I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a spot of, I don't know, maybe an inch, something like that. Then I want to describe a line right down the center. Then I need to put a line of 5 eighths which uh, halfway of 5 eighths is 5 sixteenths either side of center so it would be a line there and there and I'll just set my gauge to that Start off with a power plane and then hand plane to get sort of a taper up to 5 eighths on the bottom here. The 5 eighths keel sits on top of that and then uh, a brass stem band which is half an inch wide sits on top of that. I've got a bit of an overhang on the planking here. I'm just going to use my flush cutting saw to just go a little outside there, come off all this planking. Okay, time to attach the skeg. <laughs> I've got to crawl underneath here, go upside down, put a couple of screws up and through the uh, hog or keelson into the skeg. Not sure I got that one to hit on center, but well, there'll be floorboards. I've got a center line drawn in there, but that didn't help me much trying to go upside down like this left handed, which I am not. And this is just a dry run. Get everything attached, get everything sitting where it should. And then we'll take it apart and seal everything up. So that's definitely holding the keel. All right, let's get out of here. Tool for this stuff. Now I've got the actual keel, which sits on top. It's going to fit down in that notch. But our skeg is sitting up too high in the stern. Won't allow the center section to go down. So we're just going to keep shaving this until it uh, sits nicely. This will drop right down in the center there into the slot. Now that all the
planking is on right up to the sheer strip which is the uh, mahogany so I'm going to need to start shaping the uh, planking that's overhanging here uh, flush with the inside stem so that I can uh, attach the outside stem. I think probably the easiest thing is going to be do is use a block plane for now. That's going to take a considerable amount of time. I think I might be able to cut some of this out. The only reason I don't really like doing this is that the pull saw is fine if you're cutting this side and pulling in, but when you're pulling out this side, you tend to rip chunks of cedar out of there. So I'm going to try and be as careful as possible here. Maybe come from the other side here and get this large chunk of overhang off. I'm going to cover on this episode of preparing the hull to accept the keel, the skeg, and the outer stem. So hopefully you're enjoying this video series. Uh, please do consider giving it a, a like, a thumbs up, maybe become a subscriber, and we'll see you next time.